So what's good you guys, it's your boy Nabari back again with another video. Before we get into the video, I wanna ask you guys to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. Also, you guys go check out the short film that I did. It's called Love Shouldn't Hurt. Link will be down in the description. I'll appreciate it if you guys go check that out. So I picked up the Sony a7 III. This camera is all over YouTube and a lot of content creators are getting it. I never shot with Sony before because I heard a lot of bad things about them. I heard about their color science. I heard about the battery life was horrible, so that's what like, kept me away. I usually shoot on Canon or Panasonic, which I'm shooting on right now. I'm shooting on the Panasonic G85, but I want to get, I want to take this filmmaking stuff seriously. I want to do more short films, more skits, and stuff like that, so that's why I picked this up, because I heard it's good. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, and that's why I got it. Before I get a camera, I like to watch videos, I like to watch reviews. Um, sample videos and all that other stuff before I even get to a camera. That's what I did with the Canon 70D. That's what I did with the G85 and that's what I did with this. So yeah, that's why I invested in it. But why did I decide to get a new camera? When I was shooting a short film with the G85, everybody knows Panasonic is not good for their autofocus or their focusing. So um, when I was shooting the short film, especially at nighttime, it will hunt a lot. During the day, it's cool, but I'm not gonna always be shooting during the daytime. So um, there was a lot of time where it will hunt. It'll focus for a little bit, but then it'll start hunting again. And there were so many times we had to retake shots because the actors would say their lines will be perfect, but the only thing that would be wrong was they will lose focus. I heard this camera would be good in low light. So let's take it out, man. Ready. There's nothing wrong with investing in yourself, man. I want to take filmmaking and stuff seriously. I know it's not all about the camera, but hey, the camera does help. So this is what it is right here. And the other thing that scared me away from Sony was their lenses. I heard their lenses were expensive. The Sony, this is the 28 to 70 lens. Is it right here? So if you guys didn't see the last vlog when I said looking for a camera, I went to Best Buy and I used this camera, I put my SD card in it and I tested it out and I loved how it looked, man. So what are the things that had me sold on getting this camera? I heard Sony has great autofocus. I heard the color science was better. Everybody knows that Canon has one of the best color sciences, but they said this one has stepped up its game. Also, I heard the battery life was good. So I was debating on getting this one or the A6500, but I heard the battery life on this one was great. Because on my Panasonic G85, when I did the short film, I had to use like two batteries. Also sold me on this camera too is that it has an earphone jack. There was a scene, I think it was the first scene of the um, short film that I did. It was very windy, but when I was playing it back on the camera, I didn't hear the wind as much. But when I put it on my computer to edit, I heard all the wind, you just hear shh. So now that we graduated, what are your plans? Honestly, I've been thinking about getting a part-time job. But this, it'll take away the problem because when I'm recording, I'll be able to listen and see what it sounds like, just in case we might have to move the scene somewhere else. Also, I like that this full frame, I never had a full frame camera before. So I wanted to try that out. I want to try some different. I heard this is great for photography and for videos. So I had to get it, man, because there was times I had to take my Panasonic and I took my Canon 70D with me when I would go on shoots and stuff. I would use the Panasonic for video and then I would use my Canon for pictures. But I heard this one is cool. So I won't have to take two cameras on me. And it's kind of dangerous to have like two cameras on you, too, because you never know what could happen. So I'd rather have one with me. All right, then, y'all, let's swap them out real quick. <laughs> Alright, so this is the Sony a7 III. This is the quality. I have no external mic on it. The crazy thing is I can't see what's recording because this does have a flip out screen. That's like one of the downsides to this camera. I'm going to just invest it to get an external monitor. So this is what it looked like, y'all. Show you guys that I'm recording with it. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to see the difference in quality. But yeah, I'm recording in a... Uh, 4k 24 frames per second doing a hundred megapixels that's like one of the good things about this camera i'm really looking forward to using the 120 frames per second for slow-mo i definitely want to try that out but um i haven't tested out yet so i can't give you guys a review on it i'm just telling you guys the stuff from what i heard and from what i've seen on other youtube videos you guys let me know what you think in the comment section man i really hope it's focused on me man i really want to get better at content creating I know I was doing the football stuff. I'm still going to do the football stuff, but I want to get into doing more skits, more short films, more things. I want this channel to grow bigger, and this channel is not all about football. It's going to be about me, like things that I love, things I have interest in. So that's the video, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, and I'm going to catch you guys next video.